I'm back once again with a video of how to quench the heat in your Unify 48 non-PoE and I, I imagine you can do this for the PoE as well uh, switch these switches are amazing switches but they run amazingly hot uh, I had one that was running um, really hot and that was one that I bought secondhand and I bought this one brand new it's still under warranty but I imagine uh, with the heat uh, the, the amount of heat that it's generating, it's it's just going to barely make it to its warranty date and then burn out. I, I can't say that for sure because I haven't had it fail on me. But um, my concern is with any type of uh, networking device running that hot. So what I did was I, I took the unit apart and I marked where the heat sinks are underneath. You can kind of see the fins of the heat sink underneath there. And then I used a template, a 128 millimeter template, round template that I downloaded, cut it out, and I cut the holes for the two fans. Uh, I just marked the center of the fans, just kind of placed the, um, the metal back. Now this is some heavy duty metal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fish in here and see if I can, I'm gonna fish in here and see if I can grab one of these. You can see the density of that metal, that it's, that's a pretty thick metal. So uh, I'm not going to tell you how to cut a hole. Everybody knows how to cut a hole. I, I use um, some, some of these devices over here, these uh, tools, and cut the hole. But then afterwards, I wanted to make sure that I, I cleaned up all my burrs. I brought together uh, the fan that I use. You, you can see I've been showing the fan the whole time. Is this Arctic um, PWM fan. It's got a 10-year warranty on it. These fans are super quiet, and they move a lot of heat. Um, I'm actually drawing out of the unit. I think I'm drawing out. Uh, I could be corrected on that. I believe I'm drawing out. I'm just kind of looking around here on the side, kind of thinking out loud. But it's obviously on the side that I can't see the arrow pointing for the fan. But I believe I'm drawing out. I may, I may be forcing air in. Either way, I wanted to make sure that I had these um, these guides on top because I'm not using a, um, a grate over the fan. No one should be around this area, so I'm not really concerned about it. But um, the difference between the one that I bought secondhand and the one that I bought new were these thermal pads. So um, Unify knew that there was some type of heating issue with their units and they use these thermal pads directly over the heat sinks. That's to connect this really thick metal uh, to thermal conduct that with the heat sinks. It, it would seem better if they would cycle the fans in the back. I know everybody's talking about them cycling the fans. How do you cycle the fans? And with the, um, the firmware updates, they remove some of that functionality. I say avoid all of that and go straight in. Replace, uh, put, put in fans that you can trust uh, heat them in, um, connect them directly. This is a uh, 12 volt power supply. There's more than sufficient to run these fans. I'm actually going to plug it in so you can you can hear kind of how these fans are running here. So I'm going to plug them in. I'm sorry they're not moving you with me here, but these fans start up, and I'm telling you I can keep talking and you can barely hear these fans running, and they are blowing out. I can feel them blowing out. All right, so they're pulling air from the sides. I'm probably going to have to increase my um, dusting factor <laughs> network service dusting factor come in and clean up these these side vents to make sure that the unit can breathe properly but I've already done one and it took it from an extreme amount of heat I want to say the uh, Fahrenheit conversion it was 159 degrees Fahrenheit and it's now running at about 96 degrees Fahrenheit and that's a huge difference. Uh, some people can say you can cook an egg on these unified devices. I don't know why they run them so hot. Um, I, I don't care if I can hear a fan. It's, it's a networking device. I, I can put it in a networking room where the, the server is 10 times louder than these things. So, uh, but, but these fans are an added value because they're, they're, they're extremely quiet and they're extremely efficient. It's got a 10-year warranty on it. Um, these are uh, coated bearing fans and they, they do the job. So the first thing I did was I, I did the template, cut the unit, I 
I drilled a hole in the center here and then I actually drilled a hole right here on the outlet and then I plugged I, I've hardwired in a transformer that'll work now the second thing you need to do is because this this unit is made of metal um, on the on the top and on the bottom and it thermal conducts all the way through I'm gonna walk you in to my little janky server room here um, you need to make sure that on your back plate right, or if you're if you're putting it in a rack that you're not putting it directly down on a metal or plastic surface it was uh, up against this wooden surface directly and the unit couldn't breathe it couldn't convect that heat um, I usually place my um, my switches and my other you know, networking devices in a vertical plane so that they can uh, dissipate heat uh, the way heat normally thermoconducts up and out of the unit and in this format um, I noticed when I removed the unit that the wood behind it was extremely high. It was, it was as hot as the unit if not hotter um, so what I did was I set these little these little offsets and you can use anything um, I use you can use anything that's plastic or metal or, or what have you but you want to you want at least about a half of an inch uh, offset and then you can go ahead and set your your switch back in place um, I'm gonna be doing some other upgrades here for the system and this unify with the with the SF the um, with the SFT S S F P plus one uh, connectors. Um, you, you, if you're going to start using your SFP plus one connectors, um, going faster than one gigabit, then you need to make sure that you're doing some type of heat management because these units get extremely hot. And that was my only concern. Um, I would go into the maintenance, and the maintenance is wonderful. The front end, the GUI for the um, maintenance of the the switches and routers and, and all this Unify equipment is really good but the heat factor is just unreasonable all right um, and those are my opinions I, I don't want to knock the company because they make amazing equipment um, but I had um, I actually run two of these switches one on the north side of the building and one on the um, south side of the building and my network went down and I couldn't figure out why and that's when I first came in and realized this whole heating issue and I, I saw that I had one switch that was at 159 degrees and another one that was at 130 uh, 35 degrees and it just and those are Fahrenheit temperatures those are not the uh, Celsius temperatures that it gives you in the uh, in the um, the GUI and I, I just couldn't understand how anybody would allow their uh, networking equipment that's uh, kind of the backbone of your network to run that hot because once you get above a certain temperature you actually start or worrying about things desoldering from the board um, um, or you worry about temperature failure and, and the fans I, I didn't understand why it, if it was at that temperature those little micro fans that are in the back of the unit there's a little bitty micro fans in the back of the unit why these little micro fans didn't kick in and try and dissipate some of that heat I don't know what the thresholds on those little fans are but I really don't care anymore because now that I'm gonna run um, these fans, uh, 24/7. My, my, the switch is on 24/7. Uh, these are these are critical components. So, all right, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, I've done this twice. I'm fairly proficient at doing it. <laughs> I'm, um, my only concern is the thi the the thickness of the metal when you do your cutting. That it's going to leave a lot of metal shavings, and you just have to. Do a real thorough cleaning when you when you're done, uh, but that's that's it. Um, easy fix, easy fix. Just have to get yourself going. The reason why I cut these fans on this angle, you can you can see. I just want to see. I cut the the top bracket off the fan, is so that I can do a an easy template for the the bottoms. I only have two screws holding these fans in. They don't vibrate that much uh, because of the um, the bushings. The way that the bushings are are coated on these they don't vibrate that much so I'm not really concerned about them shaking or making a lot of noise all right that's it take care guys uh, <laughs> I know this isn't a Volkswagen thing but I'm also an IT specialist and there are some other things that I, I wanted to do some other videos and I, I'll probably do them in the future so if you guys have any suggestions let me know TDI love from Chicago take care guys bye bye